Good evening, my friends. I want to give you a couple of insights into what can make your neuroplasticity practice the most powerful. Number one, know that it is your effort that changes your brain. It is not the way you feel after putting that effort in. So if you're using any program to rewire your brain, know that doing the practice is what changes your brain not how you feel afterwards or whether or not it seems in that moment that it's made an impact. A couple of things to keep in mind with this. There are, there's a, a common thread I see among my clients where there is this sense of, well, it's still hard, so I stopped doing it. And that could apply to visualization or mood elevation or being really disciplined about noticing and, and re redirecting unhelpful patterns what DNRS calls POPs. And a lot of people are like, well, it was really hard, so I stopped. So if something is difficult, that doesn't mean it's the wrong thing. Step back and ask yourself, instead of, is this hard, is, is it helping me? Is it helping me be more aware of my unhelpful patterns? Is it giving me a more positive and empowered outlook? Is it giving me clarity? Is it giving me more function? Is it improving my overall quality of life? Those are the kinds of questions I encourage you to ask instead of, is it still hard? Anything that's going to help you grow is likely to be pretty difficult. This goes from working out to doing visualization, to elevating your mood, to being honest about the patterns that you're entertaining that are unhelpful. If it's helping you grow, it's likely to be hard. So ask, is it helping instead? A couple more things that are really helpful with this. Consistency is key. We're talking about changing brain patterns that for most of us have been there for possibly your whole lives, if not at least a few decades. And in order to see reliable, genuine, felt change, it's important to keep up the new practice for more than a few months, more than six months, which is, I know, at least the DNRS kind of timeline, in order to see lasting change. It only makes sense to do that. The last thing is that I see a lot is that folks will drop one aspect of the program they're doing. They'll do, you know, most of it, but then they're like, well, I don't think that one matters so much. And it can vary as to which aspect of that, of the program they're doing that is. But if a program is presented to you as doing all of these things, and then you will see the change, take that at face value. If we leave out consistently elevating the mood or consistently catching trauma loops, you're, you're going to stay in a pretty trauma-based space. That's just what's going to happen. So whatever you're doing, go all in, do all aspects of the program you're doing at all times if you want it to work. If you leave one aspect out close to completely, it's probably not going to have the intended effect. So be consistent before you drop, drop it or lose hope in it. This neuroplasticity and neuroplastic based approaches work, but they require that you really do all cylinders of that program for an extended period of time to see that progress. That's the science. So keep your eye on that instead of how you feel. I love you guys.